Now on this plant we've got stickiness on the leaves. This is honeydew which is a residue left on the leaf by insects. Now one way to get rid of it is to immerse the plant, put the plant in a bath with uh, washing up liquid or soapy water. And so how we do that, we don't, if we're gonna push, turn the pot upside down, we don't want um, the soil to fall out. So what we do is we lift up the plant and we place it inside a plastic bag. We push the plastic bag together, we gather it up, like this. And then we get a, a piece of twine or rope and we just tie it round, tucking it down so that when it's upside down, we're not going to lose the soil or get the soil wet. So we're just wrapping it round and then we're just tying an ordinary bow in there to make it secure. And then we are going to take this upstairs and we are going to uh, immerse it in water. What we have here is we've got an ordinary bar. We've filled it up with um, washing it with tepid water and um, some washing liquid, some washing up liquid. What we're after is we're after the froth to get, get it all over the leaves. So we're just going to turn that off now. And that is now, the bath is absolutely up to the brim. And I'm just going to plant. Right, here is the plant. Now we've got various things we've got to consider before we put it in the bath. One is we've got some lovely flowers that we don't want to damage, so we're going to have them facing me. Secondly, we've got the pot inside a plastic bag which is tied off to stop the soil falling out as we put it under the surface, and we mustn't break any of the branches. So we then say, we talk to our plant and we say, okay, um, don't worry, you're just going to have a little dip and then we put the plant into the bath and it might be an idea is to reach underneath it so you can feel that its leaves are touching the water and that we're then going to do that because in the wild outside they are going to be blown around I'm trying to pull it towards me so that I don't break the branches. By lifting it up, I'm dragging the plant through the water towards me, getting it completely under the surface where it's possible. And I'm beginning to think that this is probably enough, bearing in mind, of protecting the flowers. So we're going to bring it back upright. What we're doing now is we're just draining out the, the water from the bath and we're, we've, we've submerged the leaves, we've got them completely covered in um, soap suds using ordinary washing up liquid and then we're going to, in a bit, we're going to spray it off with the shower. What we're doing is we're starting at the top and we're, as we're washing off the soap, we should be washing off the, the any remaining residue from the insects. But at the same time, we don't want to break the branches or wash the flowers or any of the fruit off. So we've got to keep this down as low as possible. And they look so much happier already. And do you see how it's looking up so much more perky and alive? Because it's been looked after and given time and attention. You've got to be very careful about busting the leaves 
and the branches on the far side of the bath. And there we go. And if you see, we've still got our flowers. There we go. Good. Right, well I think that plant there is near enough done. We've still got to do the other one. And that is looking in much, much better condition than it was. I think it is it has actually perked up leaves have perked up as a result. We're just going to leave it like that for just a few minutes so it drips dry and then we will undo the uh, base. We take that off and then soil is a, it's a little damp. It has got damp while it's been in the bath but not, not that, not that much. And the idea is to keep the soil as dry as possible so then you just water it when it, when it mix needs watering. Okay, and I'm going to pop it in here.